hey hey everyone and a uh, welcome in it's a uh, monkey mar before we get into today's video please make sure you uh, click that subscribe uh, button the bell for notifications and of course the like i've got a couple new updates for monday updates i'm going to touch on cassandra contrell's boyfriend who has been charged with murder and a few new things that came out in her case going to go ahead and check my alerts that I have on the 13 people and cases that I follow. Well, maybe nine cases, but we've got Adam Dodal, Amadre Argumon, Briasia Terrell, DeAndre Argumon, Dulce Maria Alaves, Erica Thompson, Erica Lloyd, Ivory Hall, Jose Morales, Cassandra Contrell, Leticia Evil, Suzanne Morphew, and Vanessa Morales. Family members said the, the baby's father was an ex-boyfriend Contrell was still friendly with. One of her friends identified the baby's father as Dudley, but said Contrell was nervous to tell him because he did not want children and had an anger problem. Colin had reportedly made a statement before when they were dating that if any girlfriend of his got pregnant and wouldn't get an abortion, he would sue to get full custody just to spite the mother for having the child, prosecutors wrote in charging papers. Contrell found out she was pregnant July 16, 2020 and identified Dudley as the father to her obstetrician. The doctor noted this pregnancy was not planned patient is feeling overwhelmed the father of the baby supportive of pregnancy but not planning to be involved with raising child he and mom are on good terms record says detective spoke with dudley who lived with his girlfriend of three years in tacoma home but dudley claimed he hadn't seen contrell in years and didn't know anything about her disappearance and that living girlfriend is rebecca flesher a neighbor's surveillance camera captured a white car resembling Contrell's Mazda 3 sedan leaving Dudley's neighborhood the morning she went missing. It was later found in the 200 block of East 25th Street in Tacoma with the keys inside the center console. Video surveillance from a nearby Sound Transit Center showed a man in a hat and gloves parking Contrell's car, then walking to a nearby parking garage and driving away in a truck. Okay, so he actually went and brought the truck there prior and then dropped her car off. I thought maybe somebody followed him in the car in the truck, but obviously that is not the case. The truck belonged to Dudley Records Say. When she was missing, investigators tracked Contrell's cell phone and found it was in the area of Dudley's house, then where her car was abandoned in the last ping off the Fashion Island Tower near Point Defiance Park. Divers found Contrell's cell phone in the waters off Owen Beach. Phone records allegedly show Contrell and Dudley were communicating as far back as February. Detectives assisted by the FBI searched Dudley's house September 1st, 2020, and found traces of blood in his basement. A canine that tracks human remains also hit on Dudley's basement. In another interview, Dudley told investigators he met Contrell at a Rocky Horror Picture show when he was the director and she was a cast member. They allegedly dated several months before breaking up in 2006. Dudley said he had only seen Contrell working at the mall since then, records say. On the day she disappeared, he said he mostly did spring cleaning at home and gassed up his truck. The following day, Dudley claimed he took trash to the dumpster at his work and got a bike repaired. Investigators say they discovered Dudley bought 50-gallon trash bags at a store the morning Contrell went missing. They also found a text message he sent her that morning. On the day Contrell disappeared, Dudley turned his phone off and on at one point dismantled the security cameras at his house records say gps on his truck showed he stopped near a chambers bay treatment center plant early august 26 2020 which led search crews to the area tuesday they found Contrell's body wrapped in trash bags and tossed over a steep hillside near 64th street west of chambers creek road Contrell's mother, Marie Smith, told reporters outside court that she was at the arraignment to represent Cassandra so that he knows she's there. She's watching and she's waiting for justice. 
that breaks my heart. And it's amazing how information comes out after the fact. And obviously, she told him that she was pregnant and he snapped and he did what he did. Got a little video on Mr. Uh, Dudley at the court hearing. So let's just have a look at that. And I am going to drop the link to this article down below in the description. So we're going on close to... A week and a half and it has now been a week since Armandre Argumon went missing. Tonight he is still missing and the search continues. Cherokee County Sheriff Brent Dixon says the baby's father DeAndre Argumon was not supposed to be in possession of the child because of stipulations about him being on parole. So why did his mother give him the baby? Officials say there have been no leads from cadaver dogs and drone search that was conducted yesterday. Wells Police Department patrolman Steve Cooper wants to remind everyone with outside video cameras that were operating last Friday between Wells and Lufkin to review the footage to see if either vehicle the father was driving was seen. Those vehicle descriptions are a 2000 and gray Ford Explorer or green Ford Ranger. The hours authorities are interested in are between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. Officials say that Argumon is still in jail and has not been cooperating with the investigation. The family says they do not have a set date on when they will conduct another search. It's just really sad that this little week and a half old baby is just missing. Reward offered. Money offered for information on missing Wells, a baby. This article actually came out yesterday. The Cherokee County Crime Stoppers is offering a substantial reward for any information regarding a missing child from Wells. On September 24, 2020, local law enforcement did an extensive search in the area of Ald Forest Road, canines, a helicopter, and drone searched in a greater area and came back with negative results. According to Steve Cooper of Wells Police Department, it is like looking for a needle in a haystack. We might have missed something small in the previous searches, such as clothing or diapers. So far, nothing has led us to any conclusions. If anyone has information as to where baby or Marjorie is or what could have happened to him, Call Crime Stoppers at 903-586-STOP-7867 or the Cherokee County Police Department at 903-683-2271. I will drop those numbers in the description. And they say that all tips will be anonymous. So if anyone lives out in that Wells, Texas area and you have any information on where this child may be, Please contact the authorities. Let's get into the last update, which I found absolutely really interesting. Now, I don't know if any of you follow the Dulce Maria Alaves case, the little girl that was missing from the park in New Jersey, but I've been following it since the day it happened. The last article, they men mentioned that they would not deport anybody if they knew where Dulce was, and I was saying kind of sounds like they know where she's at but they don't have their way to get to her this came out the other day yesterday on the 28th enforcement and removal this article like i said 928 2020 ice newark fbi seek information related to a missing new jersey girl Dulce Maria Alaves, who was five years old at the time was last seen september 16th 2019 during a family outing to Bridgeton City Park in Cumberland County and later went missing. FBI and Newark in coordination with state and local law enforcement are investigating the abduction, ISIS enforcement and removal operations, ERO, wants to retreate the agency's policy to ensure witnesses feel comfortable to report information to authorities. This is tragic situation for the family and we extend our deepest sympathies to them during this difficult time. Non-U.S. citizens, regardless of their immigration status, should not for one minute 
be hesitant to provide information that may assist in this investigation. As a law enforcement agency, ICE works closely with our federal, state, and local partners in support of public safety, said ICE ERO Newark Field Office Director John Sukaris. It is not ICE policy to affirmatively target alien victims, witnesses, or plaintiffs for immigration enforcement. Rather, ICE officers are trained to exercise prosecutorial discretion in performing their immigration enforcement duties. Indeed, federal immigration law makes certain forms of immigration benefits available under certain circumstances to individuals who assist law enforcement or who have been victimized by criminal activity. Advocacy groups, NGOs, and politicians are doing a disservice to the victims they are claiming to protect by disseminating inaccurate information asserting that if victims report a crime to local authorities, they may be arrested by ICE. ICE's policy memo on alien victims and witnesses is available at ICE Directive 10076.1. And this was updated on 9-28-2020. So what they're basically saying is that if you are here illegally and you know where Dulce Maria Alaves is, it doesn't matter. Please come forward. Let them know where she is. Collect the reward. And they don't ask questions. So to me, it honestly sounds like they truly believe this little girl is alive and they're just looking for her. I really do pray she is. I just love her little face. I think her little face is so cute. Let's bring Dulce Maria Alaves home. And guys, that is it for this week's updates. So today is Wednesday, two days late. That is because I have been watching that trial on Joel Agai. And of course, I wanted to watch that crazy debate last night. There was a little more information, and first of all, the image above is who they're looking for in the Dulce Maria Alaves case, and Armadre's mother. Investigators have interviewed the child's mother, Amanda Doss. At this point, she is not a suspect. Dixon said her information is strictly as a witness only. And we don't feel she is part of this at all. And maybe she had nothing to do with it. At the end of the day, there are a lot of people missing and not a lot of people talking about them. It's kind of like they just become old news. Briasia, no updates. Erica Lloyd, no updates. Jennifer Doulis missing. Guys, it's too much. Suzanne Morphew and my heart goes out to her brother Andy Mormon and what an incredible search with that guys It is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching Please like or dislike whichever you prefer and Subscribe everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay vigilant I am out.